how are you doing out there? This is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer, in beautiful, beautiful Chandler, Arizona. And I, I'm upset about this sonnet I wrote here. I'm the Sonneteer. I write good sonnets. I wrote this uh, January the 8th, 2020. That's today. That's my birthday. I'm 77 years old now. I never thought I'd make it to 77. <clears throat> I'm just telling you, it's so wonderful. Everything is wonderful. Everything is a miracle. You don't think so? Well, life itself is so precious, people trample all over it. They won't leave, let you die in dignity. And that's the name of this sonnet, number 1,288. The name of the sonnet, <laughs> Dignity in Death is Denied. They want you to drain your bank account. They want you to bankrupt your family. They want you to sell all your belongings. The pain of watching a loved one die is sorrow, sorrow, and constant mourning, sadness. Nothing is ever the same again. Old faces are gone. Wretched pain. Singing the blues silently because you, you're crying alone. It's the chain gang music of desperation. You're so sad. You have to sacrifice your home, a mortgage. You have to sacrifice everything. You have to put off more education. Everybody around you is so sad seeing a dear one die. Any advice you get is hollow. A red line has been drawn. Relief of death. Everybody dies. We don't want to. But the pain is unchecked. It's raging. It's tormenting. It's torturing. Miserable, miserable agony. Vain pleas, you ask for pain medication. They're not going to give it to you. Falling on deaf ears that are guilty. They act like they like it, seeing people suffer. And it's on their conscience, it's on their soul for being that merciless to people in pain. They know the dotage for amphetamines, for example. They're the ones that started it. The federal government peddled that filth, meth, to troops. But you know, they know the dose, though the right dose would be okay. But no, all that meth is dirty. And I'm just telling you now, the government started that and they put people in jail for something they started? Well, they know the dose for amphetamines. I'll tell you something even more important that I'm talking about. They know the dosage for heroin. You can be just fine on heroin with the right dose. That means they're murdering people by letting them have dirty heroin. Heroin, I'm telling you, is the merciful gift of God from poppy flowers. It's from a flower, the glorious beauty of God's flower to banish pain with dignity and suffering. Well, Satan's little helpers, they callously watch suffering people with glee. They act like they like it. We can't do that. We can't do that. It's the law. We'll get punished. We'll lose our license. Suffer and die. Get out of the way. You're all, you're, you talk to, you drive too slow, you talk too slow, you're in the way. Just die. They don't understand. I'm 77 years old, but inside, I'm 25. And all of you elderly people out there, they're all 25 inside, but they don't get the respect they should. And I'm just telling you, it's really sad that all these people, they act like they like this pain. Well, most of these physicians are also scientists, they're also chemists. They know the miracle of a morphine drip. Bewildering attitudes they have, causing suffering with more hardships when they won't let people have morphine drips. Just think, pain medication is available, and yet it's not available. No, no, we can't, we can't, we can't. You might overdose. Well, maybe you should consider this. Maybe the pain is so bad, you'd rather be dead. And you can't go out with dignity? Don't trust in doctors. Why? Because they're threatened by bureaucrats, bureaucrats, government uh, officials that make it legal to take away their licenses. Bureaucrats taking doctors' licenses away, ruining their lives. You go to school all your life, you study, study, so you can be a doctor, and then they take away your license. And Shakespeare said, you take away my means of livelihood, you're taking away my life. It's true.
Well, they'll take away a doctor's license. They threaten them all the time. I don't want my doctor threatened. My doctor's a wonderful doctor. I don't want him threatened by anybody. The stress of high malpractice insurance costs, it takes so much insurance just to stay in, in a medical practice. It's so hard to survive. It is not death that is frightening. It's the painful agony of death. I have known, I've known too many people deny dignity of a decent, dignified death. They fought on bravely because they had no choice. Death is a certainty. It happens to all of us. And it's paradise. I believe that. You believe what you want. I hope you believe in something. But death is a certainty. Our collective conscience of humanity asks for mercy. Mercy on people in pain. Our last breath, then paradise. I choose to embrace that destiny. JAMA, I like that word, JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, genius. Their drama, it's willingness to eradicate pain. They can do it. They can have dignity for all of us. I, John Wayne Mercure, a righteous father, asking God nicely, God, I worship God. I've read the New Testament 153 times. All right, I want to know, I want to know, I want to see. And I'm asking God nicely, why can't my beloved daughter, Brenda Kay, get a morphine drip? She's in terrible pain. And this concern is making me go crazy. She's my daughter, your father's. What would you do if it was your kid, your daughter, your little girl? She, I bought her horses. She was always my little girl. She's wonderful. She's beautiful. Inside, she's, she's, she's my daughter. And I don't know why she can't have a morphine drip. And it's making me go crazy that she's in pain. Her destiny is not to check out in awful pain, hideously ugly pain, totally unnecessary in the year 2020, 2020. We got the pain medication. A morphine drip is our legal right. We have the right to die in dignity. It's wickedly negligent. The negligence is so awful for anyone condoning pain. They think it's all right. No, it's not. Shakespeare said it better than I can. They laugh at wounds. They laugh at pain because they never felt a wound. Just think of that. They've never been wounded. They don't know what pain is. They think it's funny. Pain can be as sharp as a knife. It's aching. It's always there. My wonderful daughter, she's in pain. It's so hard to see her in cruel agony. Samini Himlin, I love that. It's Danish for together in heaven. Dignity and death is what I want. Pain free. Et te me qui vous aime. Love the ones who love you. My daughter's in pain. And I'm telling you, it's making me, hey, I, I need your help out there. This is on in cyberspace forever. I'm telling you, those people out there that you know that are in pain, we got to help them. The, 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 the pain medication is there. And my daughter's suffering and I can't take it. And I'm telling you, dignity and death, I think we should demand that. And I'm just telling you, why are they bankrupting us and, and make us sell everything to keep us alive? Why? Because they'll get sued. I don't want anybody sued. I want dignity of death. And I'm just telling you, God bless us, everyone. Thank you for listening. Au revoir, maison, me.